Hello everyone, my mom and I budget here and welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, welcome and if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. So today is almost the last day of the month of February and it's time for us to do our thinking fund cash stuffing for this month. So we have a total of 3,300 pesos that we have saved for the whole month going into our thinking fund. So let me just get my holding binder take out our cash and as always guys I like to count our cash just to make sure that we have the correct amount let me just take it out okay so we have 500 1000 so we have saved a total of 3,300 pesos for our stinking fund. So let me just quickly arrange this guys. And just one more month and the first quarter of the year will be over. But a lot has already happened within the first two months of the year. So let me just scatter this sort because they wouldn't look um, empty. So like I said, just within the first two months of the year, a lot has already happened so uh, we're um, praying for everyone's safety around the world okay so for everyone who is new i only stop our sinking fund once a month but i all allocate an amount every paycheck or every time my husband is paid for our sinking fund i am a full-time stay-at-home wife and a mom to a soon to be 11 year old boy and i am restarting our journey to financial freedom by budgeting saving and paying off our debt after so i am prioritizing saving for our one month emergency fund this year and last year i accomplished our goal of saving for our calamity fund it may not be a huge amount but it is a starting point for our um journey so yeah so i have our cushion binder here and the first one that we are going to be stopping for today is our month ahead let me just open this guys and I think I'm gonna put this here okay so for month ahead this is getting 100 pesos so let me get this 100 and month ahead now has so I have my tracker here and each of these um, icons is worth 100 pesos so I have 100 pesos so I will be coloring 100 pesos here one um, icon rather okay so that is it and once I'm done with all this um, I will be saving a total of 5,000 pesos oh, so for now um, my goal for month ahead is to save 5,000 pesos and once I'm done with this then then I'll do another one so yeah so right now our month ahead has 10,000 pesos in the bank and 100 pesos so all in all this is 10,100 so that's it for our one month month ahead or one month advance next up is our credit card buffer and this is getting 200 pesos so let's get one two and credit card buffer now has okay so I also have a tracker for my credit card buffer and each of these icons is worth 200 pesos so we're going to be checking one icon for today which is 200 pesos okay so my credit card buffer rather now has okay, so let me just arrange this so credit card buffer now has 1000 2000 500 600 700 800 900 2100 so we have 2,100 pesos in credit card buffer. So we are done with credit card buffer. Moving on, we have rainy day fund. And rainy day fund is getting 100 pesos. So let's get 100. And rainy day fund now has. And I also have a tracker for rainy day fund. And each of these um, icons is worth 100 pesos. And once I'm done with all this, um, I'll be saving a total of 3,000 pesos. And 
When I'm done with this, I'll be doing another one until I reach a certain amount for our rainy day fund. So let me just color this one icon. And rainy day fund now has 500, 600, 700, 800. So we have 800 pesos for our rainy day fund. And aside from this, I'm also doing a rainy day fund savings challenge just to help um, build up this rainy day fund. So that's it for our cushion binder. So let me just put this to the side and get our annual binder. So let me just go ahead and open this. And the first one that we have for our annual binder is insurance. And insurance is getting 300 pesos. So let's get 100 peso bill. One, two, three. And insurance now has... We have 500 and we added 300 so now we have 800 pesos for insurance and this is um, I'm saving this for my insurance next um, for 2023 so I, I already have the money for this year so this is a quarterly payment this is and I already ha have the money for this year so it's already in the bank and what I'm saving for now is for 2023 so next up is SSS and this is getting 100 pesos so let's get this 100 and SSS now has so we have 300 pesos in SSS okay so we are done with SSS moving on we have back to school and back to school is getting 100 pesos back to school now has Okay, so we have 5, 6, 7, 8. So we have 800 pesos for back to school. And most of my sinking funds or envelopes are getting 100 pesos for today. Because that is what we can afford for today. And I used to like feel stressed or disappointed whenever I can stop our sinking funds or I can only put a small amount. But now um, I learned to... Just accept the fact that sometimes you know you cannot put enough for your thinking funds or anything of any of your categories. So if I can put anything, that is fine. Or if I can put only 100 pesos, then that is much better. But what is important for me now is that we can pay our bills on time. We had food on the table and anything beyond that is already an added blessing. So yeah. And then next up is the school service and the school service is also getting 100 pesos as well. The school service now has, let's add this, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So we have seven, 700 pesos in the school service. So this is done. Next up is tuition and tuition is also getting 100 pesos. So tuition now has one, two, three, four, five. So let me just get this five hundred and change this one hundred because I need smaller build later. And I think I also can get something from here. So let's do a mini a mini bill exchange. One, two, three, four, five. And let's get this five hundred. So this is still seven hundred. Okay, so school service done, tuition is done. Moving on, we have sports. And sports is also getting 100 pesos. Let me see if I can, yeah. One, two, three, four, five hundred. So let's do a bit exchange first. Let's get this 500 and sports is getting 100. So sports is for my son's summer activity or any um, sports or activities that he wants for the summer. So that's what I'm receiving for. So we have 500, 1,000, 100, 250, 70, 1,270 pesos in sports. Okay, so we are done with sports and we are keeping taxes for now. And that's it for our annual bills binder. 
So let me just put this aside and get our family binder. And for our family binder, the first one that we have is birthday, birthday. And birthday is getting 200 pesos. Let's get one, two. So birthday now has. So we have one, two, three, four, five hundred. So we have five hundred pesos in birthday, and our envelopes are slowly building up. Then Christmas is also getting one hundred pesos, and I also have um, a Christmas savings challenge and a birthday savings challenge. So we have three hundred pesos for Christmas. So it's still only February and hope that we can build this up and then Gibbs is also getting 100 pesos and Gibbs now has 500 600 700 800 900 so we have 900 pesos in Gibbs okay, so moving on we have family time and family time is also getting 100 pesos Family time now has 1,100, 200, 300, 400, 500. So we have 1,500 for family time. So I'll just slowly build this up and once um, it's safe to you know go outside and I hope that we can have that fund. And then next up is for my husband. He also getting 500, 100 pesos rather. So my husband now has 1,500, 600, 700, 850. So we have 1,850 pesos. And I'm thinking that um, whether I should just um, use this as our savings. This envelope is just for, um, you know, I'm saving for something that we want to buy in the future, something um, expensive. But right now, I'm undecided if I will still use this envelope for that or change this into like our um, personal savings. So yeah, so let's see. Next is myself. For my envelope, I'm also getting 100 pesos. So I now have, let me just add this. So I have 1,500, 700, 850. So I now have 1,850 pesos. Okay, so this is done. Next up is for my son and he is getting 200 pesos. And my son now has, okay, so let me just add this, 1,500, 2, 3,050, 70. So my son now has 3,070 pesos and his envelopes are really building up nicely. So we are done with this. Next up is free money and free money is getting 100 pesos. So free money is for um, if a friend or a relative just wants to borrow just a small sum of money, then we will take it out of our free money envelope. So free money now has 100, 200, 300, 400, 50, 500, 50, 600. So we now have 600 pesos in our free money envelope. Okay, so we are done with free money. Moving on, we have giving and giving is getting 300 pesos. So one, two, three. So giving now has... Let me just add this. So giving now has 1,000, 2,000, 100, 200, 350, 70. So we have 2,370 pesos in giving. Okay, so we are done with giving. Next up is pay it forward. And pay it forward is getting 100 pesos. So pay it forward now has 600 pesos. So pay it forward is for my future YouTube giveaway. So I want to build this up so I can like um you no know, give more or have a lot of like giveaway winners. So we are done with our family binder. Next up is our long-term binder. 
let me just get it okay so for our long time binder the first one that we have is let me just stretch it a little bit guys okay the first one that we have is medical and medical is getting 200 pesos so let's get 200 pesos so medical now has so let me just add this 200 so we have 500 1000 100 200 300 400 500 600 so we have 1600 pesos for medical and i hope that i can build this up but you know it's medicines are a bit expensive miscellaneous is getting 100 pesos and miscellaneous now has so let's add this so we have 500 600 700 800 900 1100 1100 pesos for miscellaneous okay so next up is strippers and maintenance and this is getting 100 pesos as well so even if it's only like 100 pesos um our envelopes are building up nicely so we have one two three four five five hundred pesos for repairs and maintenance okay so we are done with repairs and maintenance moving on we have vacation and vacation is also getting 100 pesos vacation now has let me take out our tracker is worth 500 pesos so we cannot color anything so let's see if we can color something the vacation now has 500 600 700 800 900 1050 150 250 70 so have 1270 in vacation where do you want to go for your vacation guys or where's your dream vacation um for me i i want to go to hong kong disneyland before i went I already went to Hong Kong Disneyland, but I want to bring my son to Hong Kong Disneyland. But um, he's now 11 years old, turning 11 years old, and I don't think that he will appreciate it. So for now, um, I'm planning to save for like to go to Singapore or yeah, Singapore because I haven't been to Singapore also. So that's what I'm saving for in vacation or. Boracay, I guess. Locally, it's Boracay. So vacation is done. Then tech is also getting 100 pesos. So tech now has... Oh, we have a lot of 50s. So we have 500, 1,000, 150, 250, 350, 420. So we have 1,420 in tech. And my son wants to buy a new laptop. So... Yeah, I'm, I'm like telling him that, okay, maybe in 10 years or 20 years, I can, you know, I can buy you, I can buy you one with this envelope. So yeah, so next up is household and household is getting this last 100 pesos. So for household, we now have 500, 100, 200, 50, 350, 450, 500. So we have 1,500. Okay. Okay, guys, again, 500, 600, 700, 50, 800, 50, 950, 1,000. So we have 1,000 pesos in household. So if we reach this part of the video, guys, thank you so, so much, guys, and I appreciate you guys. I am so thankful to each and every one of you guys. Thank you so, so much for watching and spending your time with me and... I am so grateful to each and every one of you guys. Thank you so much once again, guys. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do consider subscribing to the channel and join me in my journey to financial freedom. And once again, guys, thank you so much. Keep safe, everyone. God bless everyone. I'll see you next time. Bye.